Are you interested in selling your prints online? Today, I'm gonna give you my workflow for how I do that. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? So I haven't really been uploading videos as, as much as I'd like. For Black Friday, I put a Black Friday sale up on my website for selling pictures. And I got a few orders and just was busy with that. I know when I was always trying to start out selling prints online, I was always watching YouTube videos and getting any for information I can to help me through it. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone while I finish up my print orders and make just a, a video on my print selling workflow. So obviously it all starts with sharing. I always share a picture on Facebook and Instagram. I made a Facebook page for my photography and I always link my website in the post, which is where I sell my prints. And for my website itself, I use Squarespace. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything, it's just what I've been using for the last couple years and overall it works pretty good. I think for like uh, the e-commerce, uh, it's like $300 a year, maybe a little less than that. And that gives you the e-commerce platform so you can sell right from your website. So when a print order comes through, Squarespace just sends me an email. Uh, it notifies me of the size of the picture they ordered and which picture they ordered. And then it also collects the payment. So that's all Squarespace does. It notifies me what was ordered and collects the payment for me. Other than that, it's up to me to place the order and fulfill it. I know there's other things out there like Smug Mug and all that. You know, they take care of all that. If you have a Smug Mug website, someone orders a print, you don't have to do anything. That's not the route I wanted to take. I like to personally view the picture, the print itself, before I send it off to the customer. That's why I chose Squarespace. That just allows me to you know, order the print from where I want to order it from or print it myself. And then I get the print, I package it up and do all that. I just like to be more hands-on with my stuff. Uh, so in this case, this person ordered an 8x10 print. It's a park that overlooks Honeyoy Lake and I just set a long exposure and captured a bunch of different fireworks getting set off of where the lake. So this person ordered an 8x10 print of that. So. What I do is go into my Lightroom, I export that image, you know, as for the highest resolution possible. For my printing company, I use WHCC, which is White House Custom Color. So I go into there, I order that print. Uh, WHCC offers two day shipping, so two days later, I receive that print, I inspect it, make sure everything checks out, make sure it all looks good. Uh, there's been very few occurrences where it's been damaged in shipping. And I just email White House Custom Color a picture of the damaged photo and they overnight the photo. So I get that the next day. So no complaints with them either. Uh, White House Custom Color has been awesome. So in this case, it's an 8x10. So I put, this in, I put that in a uh, these little plastic sleeves. And then that goes into these white kind of cardboard plastic mailer envelopes. And I'll have all this stuff linked in the description from uh, Amazon. Anything over an, an 8x12. I send in shipping tubes just because that's the most, that's the safest way it'll get there. But in this case, it's an 8x10, so it goes in that white mailer. I put it in there, and then I also write thank you on one of my business cards, and I put that in there as well. Then I seal it up, write the address where it's going, and I place a do not bend sticker on it just to notify the USPS that it's, you know, don't cram it in the mailbox. Just don't crease it. So then after that, I take it to the post office, pay for shipping, they put a label on it, uh, they give me a receipt with the tracking number. So I'll then go into my Squarespace profile, go into my orders, go to that particular order, type in the tracking number, and press order fulfilled. And that sends an email to the customer with the tracking number and to notify them that it has shipped. A couple days later, they receive it, all happy with it, done deal. On my website as well, I also have, I make my own handmade frames that I put my pictures in. So sometimes I'll get an order for those and that goes a little more in depth, but uh, I'm just gonna stick this video to just prints. So as far as the prints go, 
that's my workflow for that. Pretty simple. I remember when I first started trying to sell prints, I was looking on YouTube for videos to help. So I figured I'd make one. So if you enjoyed that video, please drop a like, leave a comment for any questions you might have, or just something you'd like to say. As always, I've got lots of videos in the works. So uh, stay tuned here, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.